Because no good road trip can start without McDonald's. It says that it's an award-winning shop, and we were kind of like, what does that mean? This is a ruin. So there's no roof, no windows, no nothing. There's this sign that said there's a glass making studio, and I just decided to follow it. This is a really lovely place, but I have lost my wife. Hey there, travelers. I'm Eliz from Means to Travel. My husband Derek and I are college sweethearts and share a passion for exploring the globe. After so much change for us in 2020, we decided to take a giant leap and run out our home in Chicago for some extended travel. This series chronicles our three-month stay in the United Kingdom. Over the next several episodes in this series, we embarked on one of Britain's most epic road trips, the North Coast 500. On our drive, we circle around the northern coast of mainland Scotland for over two weeks and 500 miles. Throughout the journey, we explored historic castles, coastal caves, windy cliffs, small port villages, and loads more. So come along as we explore this breathtaking corner of Britain. In the last episode, we took a day trip from Inverness to the Black Isle, where we explored a natural well with a reputation for healing, a ruined cathedral and chapel, workaday Scotland, an organic brewery, and more. In this episode, we start our NC500 road trip around the northern coast of Scotland. We stop at an old priory, an award-winning shop, see rainbows and crafts, and then end our day in the golf town of Dornoch. What's up, travelers? It's Liz And Derek. From Means to Travel. And we are standing in the center of Inverness right now, town center. And we are about to embark on our first day of the North Coast 500. We are headed to the town of Dornoch and stopping at a few fun sites in between. So it's starting to rain, but we need to get going. So we'll uh, catch up in the car and on the road. Let's All go. right. See you guys soon. Okay, map time while Derek's filling up our diesel tank um, in Inverness here. So we are, we've officially started the route, which is this kind of like bluish purple that you see on the map. Um, and it is this big circle, which is why you see it coming back this direction. Um, but we are going counterclockwise. So we are going up here to the town of Dornoch as our first stop today. So it should take um, just a little bit of driving time, but we are gonna hopefully make some stops along the way. The Inverness Castle here, which we've shown you in our Inverness vlog, is the official start of the North Coast 500, so we had to document it here as we passed. At this point, as we were driving through downtown Inverness and saying goodbye, we had a ton of excitement for the road ahead. Official NC 500 sign here as we're leaving Inverness. And we're eating McDonald's. Because no good road trip can start without McDonald's. Um, both. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Right, guys, we are on our first stop first of the day. NC500 here in Bewley, just outside of Inverness. It's like a 20 minute drive, very, very close, but it has a beautiful priory, which is what we're standing in right now. Which is open air. It's outside, and this is a ruin. So there's no roof, no windows, no nothing. So this used to be the home of an order of monks back in the, you know, 1400. And yeah, today stands as a ruin that is being overseen by Historic Scotland, and it is a lovely, very atmospheric, very beautiful place. Yeah, I'm excited that we came here. This is really cool. Totally agree. <laughs> it's really pretty here. It's a little less sketch than we went to this place the other day called the Gallic Chapel over in the Black Isle, and that felt a little bit more like scary and <laughs> run down. This is much more like 
somebody manages it it's it's clean it feels safe uh which is nice but yeah we're gonna walk around a bit show you guys a little bit of what it looks like and get on our way to our next stop all right let's go check it out is a river, an outstanding similar river to in Inverness, but I don't know. Um, but the reason why this town is called Bewley is like a derivative of the French word for beautiful. It is a really beautiful town. As we were driving in, I was kind of commenting like, I like this place. <laughs> good vibes, good vibes all around. I'm just gonna walk around and check it out. There's a river over there. <laughs> and I found leaves to kick. Gotcha! You too. <laughs> Leaf fight. <laughs> I will not sink to your level, sir. Well, guys, she married me, so I think she sank to my level. <laughs> gotcha, zinger! You can't fight that one. <laughs> it's kind of wet. It's starting to rain. You fight the sun. Yes, yeah, sun showers. Maybe we should go rainbow. To, maybe we should go to the shop. Maybe we'll find a rainbow. The award-winning. The award-winning old-school shop. Whew. All right, that completes our circuit. Maybe we're gonna go stop in there. We just come out of uh, old school Bewley and it was awesome. Yeah, so when we were walking in, it's it says that it's an award-winning shop and we were kind of like, what does that mean? But now that we walk so nice. around, um, it has all these tiny little different departments, including a Christmas shop. And so- It had a bookstore, it had a home goods section, it had kids section. Yeah. And it had it all. A lot of local stuff. So I would recommend going there if you're interested in getting Souvenirs that are a little bit less kitschy. Yeah. Because I felt like there was a lot more like local art and just higher quality stuff that nice. still felt really Scottish. You want to show them what you got? No, just because I got a gift for my best friend and so I don't want her to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to head off now to our next stop. Let's get going, guys. We are heading out of Dingwall right now, and what I will say is that Dingwall does have free parking uh, where you can go park and explore the town center. There's no parking, unfortunately, for us, so we uh, are This is out. free parking right here, but yeah. you know what? We're just going to keep on going. 
So what I wanted to say though is that Dingwall is actually probably your last chance if you're going counterclockwise on the NC500 to do the Black Isle. So you can actually jut off here and head up towards like Cromarty and go check those towns out, which if you are interested in, you can go check out our video on the Black Isle, uh, which we'll link to in the description down below. As we drove between Dingwall and Tain, we were so lucky to spot a full rainbow outside of Alness. We couldn't believe our luck on the very first day of our trip, so we had to stop and capture it as we were driving along the Cromarty Firth. now up on the NC 500 tour and this is a town that's right before Doorknock which is where we're staying for the night tonight but Eliz found this cool spot that she wanted to go check out. So I was reading the book as we were coming into Tain and they said that there's a place that was just south of town called Tain Pottery which is what we have stopped at. I'm super excited. The book was saying that it started around 1986 when they started to take over this like derelict farmstead and turn it into kind of like a pottery place uh, to showcase local pottery that is inspired by local nature. So yep. let's go take I'll tell you what, it does still smell a bit like a farm out here. I can definitely smell the animals. So uh, let's go check it out, guys. Loving the curtain stuff already. <laughs> So I was walking through Tain and there's this sign that said there's a glass making studio and I just decided to follow it. So we got here and this is the North Coast glass place that you look like you can kind of peek in and see a little bit of the glass blowing and everything being done. And there's a shop as well. They have the garage open so you can kind of see in right now. I did a glass blowing class one time in Brooklyn when I used to live in New York City and it was super fun, um, but I could not stand the heat. So it was not in my, you know, future as a glass blower, but. So you got out of the kitchen. But I still have a glass that I made from that class and I just really respect the craft. I think it's very cool. We just had a really fun time walking around the town of Tain, or shall I say Royal Borough of Tain. 
and it's so pretty here. Um, but we are losing daylight, so we need to move to our final stop, which is where our hotel is. So let's get going. But before we do, the Royal Borough of Tain has the distinct honor of claiming to be the oldest royal borough in Scotland, uh, with their charter coming in 1066, which was a heck of a year. I mean, Tain got its royal charter. The English got conquered by the Normans. There's a lot going on on this island at that time. So we're gonna head out to the car though and get going to Dornoch, which, uh, which is where we get to lay our heads tonight. So let's get going. We have made it to Dornoch, which is our final stop for the day. And it's a cute town, it's really nice. We got here like right before sunset, so it's very pretty out. Apparently there is a very well-known golf course here. Hmm, we're not golfers. According to the signage. Yeah, we're definitely not golfers and maybe we should be embarrassed about not knowing this, but sorry. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So we're gonna go check out, there's I think a cathedral and a castle down here. And in fact, the castle is where we're gonna have dinner tonight. It's also a hotel and restaurant. So that's pretty cool. And it's supposed to have a pretty famous whiskey bar in it. So that, maybe I'll have a whiskey tonight. My first whiskey of Scotland, that'd be great. This would be a really good place for you to do that actually. To do what? To have your first whiskey because it's, you're not driving. I've and driven already. There's a ton of local distilleries, so. Yeah. Maybe even I'll try a sip of hey. your whiskey. I'm not gonna order my own. That's no, you need your own wee dram. I'm just not. Your own dram. I don't see myself being a wee dram gal. Um. Fine. I'm just, I, I like hard alcohol straight up is like not my thing. I like the wine. I need a store. Is it an award-winning shop, though? It could be. Maybe they just didn't buy all the signage. <laughs> we found the cathedral. It's a cathedral for the Church of Scotland. Founded by St. Gilbert, Bishop of Katniss in 1224. That's cool. It's a very orangey color. A lot of the buildings in this area have kind of an orangey pinkish kind of salmon tone to them, but this one's an even deeper orange, I would say. Guys, this is a really lovely place, but I have lost my wife. I don't know where Eliz went. So I've got to find her now, I guess. Hide and go seek, right? But in the meantime, Dornoch is actually another royal borough. I know we were just talking about that, about Tain being the oldest, 1066. But Dornoch also is a royal borough. 
and it's a lovely place. It's really cool. There's a lot to see that's just very quaint. Um, but I still don't know where Liz is, so let's go find her. I found a Liz. I was lost. I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> so I just sat on a bench, <laughs> waited at the last place I saw Derek, which was here. All right, so that's what happens when you only have one phone. We need to give a Liz the pocket Wi-Fi so she can just carry that around with her in case we get separated. I tried, apparently Doorknock has free town Wi-Fi, but I, I was in the middle of filling out all of the form, which is very long. It's like actually like say that I'm a female, give like my full name, my email address, and blah, 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 blah. And then Derek found me. There we go. Did you see the castle? That's where I'm having dinner tonight. Yeah. yeah. I did. In the jail, that's where you wanted to have dinner. So, so the jail. yeah, so tell me more about that jail. It was a jail slash courtroom, and now it's a fine dining establishment. As one does, as one does. We had an incredible gourmet meal at the Doorknock Castle Hotel's restaurant that evening. This flatbread was delicious, and our two apps were hearty after a long day of driving. This was the local Scottish lamb, and it was so well prepared. Plus, believe it or not, I was drinking a red wine from Lebanon. Everything was delightful. It's the next morning and we are just leaving Doorknock, but we've had a great time. Yeah, we loved, you know, traveling along with you guys from Inverness up to Bewley and Bewley to Tain, uh, and then all the way up here to Doorknock. So I hope you liked our first day of our NC500 road trip adventure. If you did, definitely press the like button down below. And also if you wanna see more of our North Coast 500 road trip around the top of Scotland, definitely press that red subscribe button below too so you don't miss any of our future videos on this series and on this channel to come. Thanks everybody for watching. Cheers, happy travels, bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.